By default, when you filter your listing grid, there is this fade in effect being applied. However, with the latest JetSmart filter update, we now have the option to add a preloader animation alongside this existing fade in effect. So let me show you how to do it. So I'm going to switch to my dashboard, then I'm going to go to Smart Filters Settings. And in the Jet Smart Filters tab, I'm going to click on Provider Preloader. And then I'm going to toggle on the switcher to activate it. Now let's take a look at the settings. The first option is the type of animation being used for the preloader. Here you can choose your animation from a drop down menu, and you're going to be able to see how it looks like here in the preloader preview. So let's explore a couple of animations to see how it looks like. So I'm going to go to the drop down menu, and we're going to select the cube grid. Okay, let's try another one, the hash one. Okay, let's scroll down and try the dotted fire. Okay, now I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to select dot spin scale. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, I'm going to stick with this one. Next on the list is the size of the icon. Right now it is set to 45, but if you want to make it bigger, you can make it bigger. If you want to make it smaller, you can go ahead and make it smaller. I'm going to stick with the 45. And next on the list, we have the color right now. It is set to red, but you can change it to any color you want. So once you are finished styling and happy with the result, there's no need to click save. It's been saved automatically. So now let's see it in action in the front end. So I'm going to switch to the front end. I'm going to click refresh and we're going to sort it by Ferrari. And you're going to notice the preloader appears. Now, if you feel there's difficulty in seeing the preloader, we can return to the dashboard, enable use background plane, and here we can adjust the padding, the border radius, and the background color, which right now it is set to white, which works for us. So I'm just going to change the border radius from 5 to 50. And now we can go back. I'm going to refresh. And I'm going to sort it. And now, as you can see, we have the animation with the background plane. Now, the last settings I want to talk about is the preloader position. Right now, it is set to the center of the listing grid. Check it out. As you can see, it appears at the center. And it's visible without any issue. We can see it. However, if we're going to go back to Elementor, and I'm going to change the post number from 6 to 18, and then I'm going to click Publish, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to sort it, and you're going to notice that we don't see the preload animation. And that's because the center of the listing grid was out of view. Now that we're back in view, we can sort it again, and we're going to see the preload animation. Not seeing the loader animation can be an issue when you have a long listing grid. Now to fix this, we can go back to the settings and enable fixed position. These settings ensures that the preloader remains visible relative to the browser window. Even when the user scrolls up and down the page, as long as the listing grid is visible, the user will see the preloader. Let me show you. So we're going to go back, then I'm going to refresh, and I'm going to sort, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to scroll up, and as you notice, the preloader animation stays visible no matter what. So that sums up this new preloader animation feature. If you'd like to add a custom preloader, I have a video on my channel that covers that. So that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace!